Brooklyn people who lost their who lost their son, sons in there. And mm -hmm. he was another great person. Just like we have Phil Liner now. I I played ball against his brother that was killed. We, we were confirmed together, but uh, it's it. All I can say is I thank the Lord, you know. Going through what I went through, it never really bothered me. I kept on working. My mother, my mother till the day, she, she died very young too. My mother was only 50, 56 years old when she died. The Lord's blessed me because I got a wonderful wife. I got wonderful children. Every one of them, did none of them forget, forget us. They're on the phone or they stop here. My son's here every morning, every afternoon after work. My daughter in real estate, she's in here almost every day. My daughter in Indiana, she calls at least once a day. The, the grandchildren are having kids now. One, one comes with the baby once in a while that helps my wife. But ever since we lost our daughter, we've had a, we've had a marriage or another great, another great grandchild. And it's it's just it's just a blessing because I, I feel I feel very fortunate. I have a, a husband and wife from our church. We have what they call the homebound ministry there. People have been good to us, but what these people have done, it, it's just unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. And I I got to know them when I was ushering in church. As they adopted a, a child from China, they they had their own son, right? And we just happened to hit it up. And he, he also ushered at different times, gave communion at different times, and uh, it, it never stopped. And the, and the kid, the son is married, the daughter, but we lost two different homebound ministry people that were taking care of my wife. But this couple is just unbelievable. Betty, you are Mr. Hillsdale. You are Mr. Hillsdale, and thank you for your service. Thank you, thank you. My, it's my pleasure and my honor because uh, it's been my life. It's been my life.